BarkBox video, and as you can see, Ferris is already excited. Worcester's already excited. They know what the box looks like by now. This is like, I don't even know how many boxes this is, but like, it's been a few boxes, so. Um, can I help you? Ferris. Anyways, this is just another BarkBox unboxing. This is the March one. I'm doing this before work, so. I'm doing this before work, so I'm trying to get this in, so hopefully you guys will see this video probably in a couple days. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get right on into the box. So, when you open it, oh, this is interesting. This is what it looks like. It says Australian Outback. Can you stop? Sit. <laughs> Whisper sit. Okay, so then once I open this up looks like this so I'm so it says like <laughs> so it says on here there's like a little thing stop it says our doggo's latest adventure takes takes them to the wildest place in the world Australia so I'm assuming it's like um for like the Australian fires so cuz like this little card says our hearts are in Australia and it says this Thank you for being part of our pack. This month's Bark Box experience was inspired by Australia's unique beauty and wildfire. We are devastated as the rest of the world in the light of the recent tragic events. We find ourselves with opportunity to say and do and make a difference. So that's cool. So it says, um, so they're pretty much helping support um, like the animals that got injured, like koalas and stuff. It says due to the bush fires, Bear and his colleagues are deployed to find koalas to bring them safety and medical treatment so to help Aaron his work they're donating $25,000 to IFAW's koala dog detection program and they'll also donate additional dollar for each new bar box description made to the month of March so that's really cool so they're helping out Australia hmm. she just wants the toys can you sit <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, she's more hype about it than Whisper. Ferris! Okay, so the first toy we have is a crocodile, but look how cute this is! This is what it looks like. <laughs> it squeaks. It's called Crikey Crocodile. It's a crinkle. It has. It's a treat holder and a disc squeaker. How's it a treat holder? Oh, I guess this is the treat holder here. But that's really, really cute. So the next one we have is a Dronco platypus. Like, look how cute that is. This one is a crinkle. There's a toy and it says two times toys inside and a ball squeaker. So meaning like, so this one's a little bit more firmer. So there's like another toy here. So like when it opens, like when they break through the toy, there's another toy inside, which nine times out of 10, we break through because Ferris sits there and just chews on them. So I'm I'm hoping it's a baby platypus on the inside. That would be literally the cutest thing. Do they have platypuses in Australia? I guess so. Um, this next one is a koala. Cutie little koala here. This is called Cuddly Koala. It's a crinkle, a disc squeaker. There's a toy on the inside and it attaches to the collar. So there's like a little loop here and you can like attach it to their collar if you want to, which is very interesting. I feel like my dogs, they would just try to eat it if I put it on their collar. Um, yeah. So this will be the first thing that honestly gets ripped off. We'll probably just cut it off, but there's also a toy on the inside of this what, one. What, what is gonna get ripped off? This, that you like, you can hook it to their collar. But we use harnesses, so we don't really use collars. Well, actually, if you can just use the Velcro and you can just stick it on their Velcro. I could. We'll have to try it out. We'll try it out. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know like an update video. But the next thing we have is a pork stick. This is a hard and chewy one to support recipe um, stick. And then I have two bags of treats. The first one is Meat Pie Mates. It's a lamb dog treats, and they're just little like squares. Um, so that's what these look like. And then these ones are burger under the with burger with the loot lot loot I guess. Um, they're called dog down under dog treats, and this this is it's grass fed beef. So that's really cool. So they're a little bit bigger sticks. 
that's what those look like. <clears throat> oh. All right. And then, and then just on the inside, there's other things that you can get. Like you can get a kangaroo, that would have been a cool. sugar glider, a Tasmanian devil, um, and I don't even know how to say an emu, a Shiba emu, a lizard, a kookaburra, and some other, like it's like in Chidita. I don't know how you say it. But yeah, those are like all the toys. You can go on their website and like, like reorder different toys, like if your dog really likes a toy. But we typically don't do that because we literally have so many dog toys, so many bark bark dog toys. Like, that's 90% of our toys that we just go through them and like the ones that are in good, like better condition we like donate them or give them people who like need them or like the ones that are just completely disgusting and torn up we throw away but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this march bark boxing video and enjoyed ferris going crazy and you can probably hear her right now come here what is it? anyways i will see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>